Terra Motors, a solar electric vehicle startup, hopes to begin production of its three-wheel solar EV before the end of the year. On the last day of 2022, the company revealed the production intent design for Aptera, demonstrating the progress it had made on its solar-powered three-wheeler. Aptera has demonstrated for the first time the convergence of the continuous improvements made throughout its alpha, beta, and gamma development phases on a production intent prototype called Delta. Hi, welcome to Volter Media, where we explore the exciting innovations in the EV industry. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and ding the bell to set your preferences to this channel. It really helps the channel out. In this video, we are going to look at Terra's Delta design iteration for its solar electric vehicle. Before we get into the video, I would like to pass on a special message about a close friend of the channel. Lewin is a sickler and has lost two siblings to this disease. He has battled the dreaded sickle cell disease all his life, but his health keeps deteriorating as the days go by. Lewin is a fighter, and the best we can do for him as a team is to help him stay healthy. His health can be completely restored with a bone marrow transplant and a bilateral hip replacement. So we call on all our audience and fans to donate and see that he gets these surgeries. Please check out his GoFundMe campaign in the description below. Before we get into the details of Aptera's Delta phase development, let's make a rundown of the previous iteration of its development phase. The Alpha prototype was an early prototype that was made to validate Aptera's basic design and engineering. The Aptera Alpha was focused around innovation and efficiency. The three-wheel concept made a lot of buzz on the internet. The three wheels spotted in wheel electric motors that produced about 75 horsepower apiece from its battery electric powertrain. The company promised a whopping mile range and solar panels that could charge the car and provide many miles of range a day assuming you leave it outside in direct sunlight when it's sunny. If you opt for the premium model, which has extra solar panels, it can add about 40 miles of range per day under the best circumstances, but the lower tier models will produce 20 miles of charge. The prototype was particularly powerful on paper. However, its all-electric torque makes it plenty peppy. According to Aptera, the Alpha can rocket to 60 miles per hour in just 3 seconds, and it has a top speed of 110 miles per hour, so it's more than capable enough to operate on public roads. Jay Leno of Jay Leno's Garage, who is a popular and an avid car collector, drove the Alpha prototype and remarked that, despite its weird design and small size, it's comfortable even for him. And he's not a tiny guy. He also has no problem getting into and out of the Aptera. Its striking design also assures that it handles impressively well. In an announcement on its website complete with a beautifully produced video, Aptera introduced the Luna, the third and final alpha version of its upcoming SEV. Luna marked the third aesthetic design option for the Aptera and featured a silver exterior. Furthermore, Luna had a warm interior called Codex that consists of earth tone accents. Most importantly, Luna marked Aptera's end to the alpha phase of development and provided a well-laid-out path for beta builds. The beta prototype was made as test mules used to integrate production parts and evaluate dynamic and transient vehicle behavior. Beta vehicles, of which the design is nearly completed, looked much the same as the alpha series. Mainly packaging and comfort improvements were made alongside several refinements for the interior design, including seating, door panel, and instrument panel. The same design theme evolved and matured into production-level intent. The Gamma prototype was a production intent vehicle used to iron out final production details. This video is sponsored by ChargePoint 50 Amp Home Flex EV Charger. The ChargePoint Home Flex Charger is the top-selling charger on Amazon right now. It is a level 2 charger that can offer up to 50 amp from a 240 volt wall socket. It is Wi Fi enabled so you can monitor and control charging through the mobile app. It has a 23 foot cable ending with the J1772 plug, which can charge up any EV up to 9 times faster than a normal wall outlet. Check out now, link in the video description. Aptera unveiled its Gamma prototype alongside Sandy Munro at Fully Charged Live, and we saw quite a few interesting modifications from the Alpha and Beta, some of which have stuck through to the Delta. The automaker also talked about its manufacturing partnerships and techniques they had developed with said partners. They highlighted that CPC will be supplying materials and structures for Aptera's BINSE, which stands for Body and Carbon. In keeping with Aptera's ethos of simplicity, safety, and sustainability, the BINC is composed of only six main parts. 
This will ease assembly of the Delta, which will largely be aided by AGVs, or Automated Guided Vehicles, supplied by Red Viking. In May 2022, Aptera and Red Viking announced a supply agreement for all AGVs, or Automated Guided Vehicles, for Aptera's final vehicle assembly. Red Viking's AGV mobile production platform is versatile, flexible, expandable, and can be easily relocated. There are no building modifications required, allowing changes to happen quickly with a clean, flat floor and quiet environment. Charging of the AGVs occurs when the vehicles are stationary, allowing them to charge while work is completed. This AGV technology will enable Aptera to expand its efficiency-first ethos to the manufacturing cycle, as its benefits are quite significant. AGVs assure for reduced investment on labor costs, while increasing safety, accuracy, and productivity, and it makes sense why Aptera has gone this route. The Gamma reveal was a great indicator that we could expect the full Delta unveil in coming days, and Aptera may have scored a great milestone achievement, but we saw they weren't out of the woods yet, as it still has some challenges to overcome before entering production. Having the best laid plans and designs in the world won't do you a bit of good unless you have the resources to actually make it happen, and my most current information says it is still tens of millions of dollars short of what's needed to build cars in bulk. Bridging that gap is going to require investors and government loans. Well, from the December update, Aptera's chief marketing officer, Sarah Hardwick, mentioned that once the Aptera design is complete and they reach their funding objectives, they would begin systems integration and Delta builds. That means the major constraint is, in fact, funding. Now, let's see what the Delta is made of. The Delta is Aptera's production vehicles for customer deliveries. It's made with the final parts and aesthetical arrangement customers are going to receive with their vehicles. Aptera says the Delta is really important because it will pave the way for the launch edition Aptera, the company's first and most exclusive model that will start production on. Launch edition Aptera models will have one unified configuration, which will help the company ramp up production volume more quickly. Aptera says this approach is also part of its ethos of simplicity and efficiency. The startup will show more of its production intent design on January 20, when it will also announce specifications and revolutionary capabilities in a live stream webinar. Aptera did not provide further details but promises to outline the core technologies that will make your solar electric dreams come true and the strategies for employing to make solar mobility a reality for all. Looking at the photos and video of the Aptera Delta, the production intent vehicle looks very similar to the previous Gamma iteration. The animated video shows the Aptera's bodywork and chassis components coming together to form the highly aerodynamic Delta prototype. The video also provides a glimpse of the Aptera Delta's trunk and minimalist two-seat cabin, which continues to feature Tesla-inspired solutions such as the steering yoke and center touchscreen that incorporates most of the controls, including the transmission selector. There are, however, redundant physical transmission switches on the dashboard, right under the center screen. We can also notice the presence of only one stock on the left side of the steering column dedicated to the lights and side-view video screens behind the steering wheel. They may look like a digital instrument cluster, but they're just monitors for the side cameras. Aptera made some important moves in 2022, signing deals with Singapore-based solar panel supplier Maxon Solar Technologies and China's EV Energy, which will supply the solar EV's lithium-ion battery cells. The company also announced last year that the car's carbon fiber molded body will be made by Italian manufacturer CPC, which also makes parts and assembles cars for Ferrari, Lamborghini, McLaren, and Maserati. Finally, Aptera said it will integrate the new North American Charging Standard, or NACS, formerly the Tesla Connector, into its vehicles. According to a recent San Diego Business Journal interview with Chris Anthony, Aptera's co-founder and co-CEO, Aptera claims to have 39,000 pre-orders for its first vehicle, representing over $1.4 billion in potential revenue. With all the progress Aptera has made on delivering its vehicles, are you confident that Aptera will observe delivery dates? Let us know in the comment section below. Do you find the video interesting? If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any of our new uploads. Thanks for watching.